asked, what is the biggest threat for global environment? Think a second. Maybe the answer will be climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. We have known about the problem for over half a century. Everybody is worried, but the problem seems to be getting worse day by day. Climate change is not a new issue, it has a long history. But those changes were natural. What we are talking about is made by human beings. By knowing or unknowing, we have destroyed and created our paradise for our daily life. The anthropogenic activity, the human being mostly responsible to climate change. Climate change can happen uh, naturally, but that is slow process. It takes thousands of years. But uh, due to the last industrial uh, era, in the last uh, 300 or 200 years, after the industrialization in Europe, there are lots of industrial activities and basically the fossil fuel. For our energy consumption, we have a lot of uh, demand on oil, gas, petroleum, these fossil fuels. Whenever we use these uh, fossil fuels, they are releasing carbon dioxide. And all these carbon dioxide, think about in the last 200 years, a lot of carbon dioxide released into the air. This carbon dioxide layer created like a furnace in the atmosphere. So uh, there is a heat. The outgoing radiations of the world are getting trapped into the upper upper layer and the temperature increased. In the last century, the temperature increased 0.5 say, degrees Celsius. And this century, uh, the average temperature of the sea level could rise again to 0.5 degrees Celsius. So if the average temperature increased one degree Celsius, it's a lot. Because some of the places it could be more than two degrees, or some of the places it could be one degree. So it's a lot of temperature that already increased due to the due to our dependency on the fossil fuel and our industrial activity and of our human uh, activity all over the world and due to supply of energy of more than 7 billion population of the world. How will climate change affect us? There are many factors that will be affected by climate change, including rising sea levels, drought and loss of agricultural land. After 1942 to 1980, the amount of carbon dioxide was 0.2%, but now it is 0.4%. From industrial revolution, the amount of increased carbon dioxide is more than 225%. The density of carbon dioxide in air is more than 360 ppm. So temperature is rising. After 1906 to 2005, the average temperature of Earth is 0.74 degree and that's why the reason of tropical centers tropical areas the rainy season is very less and the glaciers of north pole started to melt that's the main reason of sea level rising at fourth assessment report of ipcc we can see how dangerous the situation will be if it is not controlled the coastal areas will be affected much due to coastal flood 252 million of years ago, the vast majority of complex life was wiped out due to the increase of global temperature. Earth is headed towards a higher global average temperature. Someday in the near future, maybe the Homo sapiens, the inhabitant of the Homo sapiens, will be extinct, like the extinctions gradually of the animals and humans going on these days. Changes in the climate will change the weather pattern. Changes in weather will affect many crops grown around the world. Many wild species could become extinct. 
climate change will affect everyone but some population will be at greater risk countries whose coastal regions have large population such as bangladesh china or egypt may have to move whole population in land to avoid flooding global warming is a global problem global scale problem you know that uh, if the ice melts in the north pole or the south pole and then the sea level will rise uh, uh, the sea level will rise maybe few meters and uh, it will create problems to many countries seasonal pattern uh, uh, can change it will have a lot of extreme event there may be a lot of flooding all over the world we see that there is a lot of flooding uh, in this year uh, we have seen that there is a flooding in bangladesh also that uh, it could be have a drought impact of drought then there will be no like the rainfall or the rainfall pattern changes that will hamper the uh, agricultural system so these are the effect you, you can you know that there will be flooding there may be drought there may be like a cyclones there are a lot of cyclones we can see this year in a american zone we have seen that uh, in this year a uh, cyclone harvey and a lot of cyclones that came Nearly 12 million of people live in poverty in the coastal regions of Bangladesh. The climate already poses a challenge to the lives and the livelihoods of these households. New projection published by the World Bank suggests climate change will pose an even more severe challenge over the next three decades today. Climate change is a major issue for us. If 1% of focus on climate change be true, Bangladesh will face a great crisis within 2050. So river salinity and soil salinity will be increased and that will cause crisis of food and drinking water. Also, water from this will be spared. As we know, the northern part of Bangladesh is situated at high elevation and because of climate change, this will turn into desert. In the southern part of Bangladesh, the world's biggest mangrove forest, that is Shundarban, is situated. And because of climate change, Shundarban it is in danger. Um, it influences the ecosystem of Shundarban and we are losing many resources of it. Due to this, the southern part will be affected by many natural calamities. And because of climate change, ultimately, the one third of land of Bangladesh will go underwater and about 20 million people will be homeless. That is the biggest threat of Bangladesh. It is projected that the sea level can rise nearly uh, uh, 5 to 10 centimeters within this century. And it, if it rises, then what will happen to Bangladesh? It is not a, it is not a high country. Uh, the average height of the country is like uh, just uh, 2 meters. So if the sea level rises, then there will be 30% of the land of the country, especially in the south, southern region, will go underwater. Then what will happen? It's a very disastrous. A lot of people will lose their home. Uh, they may come to Bangladesh, Dhaka city, and uh, there will be a lot of crowd and pressure. So this is a very populated country, and it created a huge problem of the making the climate refugee of the country. Uh, this is the problem, you know. The threats are being visible day by day in Bangladesh. Perhaps the most visible of all threats, cyclone destroyed lives and livelihoods with alarming regularity in coastal Bangladesh. Severe cyclones strike every three years on average. Rising sea levels, a direct result of climate change, will increase the land surface exposed to high levels of cyclonic inundation by more than 50%. Rising river salinity present a less visible but equally damaging threat. River salinity increases health risk, causes scarcity of drinking water and water for irrigation, and reduces number of fish species. The weather cycle of Bangladesh is changed. Duration of winter season, the yearly amount of rainfall is decreased. Um, our country's uh, temperature is increasing day by day. Um, for that, uh, for that, the increase of temperature, we are facing many problems. Um, the major problem is um, uh, our natural disaster, uh, like uh, cyclones, floods. Uh, the result of it, we have seen a terrible scene of flood in North Bengal. 
Though Bangladesh is not much responsible for climate change, it will be one of the biggest victims of this crisis and the poor people who even don't know the meaning of climate change will be the sufferer. On the other side, many of the responsible developed countries are denying the climate change. The human race does not see global warming as a serious threat. Celebrate! If we talk about climate change, world politics, and economic development, then these three things are correlated with one another. A country's development goes well when, the, when that country's uh, industrialization is going properly. But on the other hand, this industry produces a lot of gaseous gas, uh, greenhouse gases, which is harmful for the uh, world and the particular country also. We all know about this issue, but arguing with this uh, issue is a politics to save their own interest. But if we want, then we can uh, build a sustainable development for that country and the world also. Climate change does not respect national borders. No country, whether rich or poor, developed or developing, can escape the impact of climate change on its land, on its people. Nations like people are bound to each other on this earth, and the actions of one have consequences on the well-being of others, whether we acknowledge it or not, we are interdependent. We have to find out the solutions for the crisis and apply their pain. But how can we confront with climate change? We need to reduce our energy consumption. How can we reduce? Because our present energy consumption basically depends on the fossil fuel. They are oil, gas, petroleum or other things. But all of these fossil fuel emit carbon dioxide. That is the problem. So in other case, if we can use the renewables, the clean energy, we can use the wind turbine, we can use the solar panel, we can use the biofuel. If we can use this, then they have no uh, like a carbon dioxide or no pollution of the air. So there will be uh, no problem or there will be no temperature rise if we can use the renewables. So that is the best energy alternatives. So we can have a lot of tree plantation. So every human being of the world should plant tree. If we plant tree, one tree is per year, there will be 7.5 billion tree in the world uh, and there is a 7.5 billion population in the world. So we can save the planet by planting tree. So that is a, a good example. And other things that we can do is to we can educate people. Because without education we cannot save. So there is an education, there is a huge education we need. So if we can educate people in all over the world and if we can make them our, so I think that there will be a lot of consciousness and that a lot of activities and this activity will save the world. I think so. We have attended an awareness campaign which is powered by RC Greener Dhaka IUBAT campus. We have gone to the Scholars College at Tungi which is situated in an industrial area outside of Dhaka and has a great threat of climate change. We have met the youngsters of the institution and have spent some time with them. At the time, we have tried to let them know about the crisis and discuss about what to do and what should not do. Thank you.
যদি আমরা সকলকে সচেতন করতে পারি এবং এই সচেতনতার মাধ্যমে আমরা বিশ্বাস করি যে তুলনামূলকভাবে আমরা পৃথিবীটাকে আরও কম গরম করতে পারি যেটাকে আমরা গ্লোবাল ওয়ার্মিং বলছি যে উষ্ণ করার কারণেই তো এই সমস্যাগুলো দাঁড়াচ্ছে তাই এই ক্ষেত্রে সকলের সচেতনতা থাকা জরুরি এবং এই ধরনের একটা উদ্যোগ আইবিটি নেওয়ার কারণে আন্তরিকভাবে অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি স্কলার্স পরিবারের পক্ষ থেকে Climate change is not only a global issue of partisan debate and solving this crisis is not only a question of politics it's a threat to us to our future generations it's a question about our extinction we have to be aware and work together to solve the problem to save our future from the vulnerable crisis we should take a promise right now i will do my part to protect the earth and it's a need for our existence the earth is our only home it's our duty to keep the world livable for our next generations so what job job to be free and not the body of the world is to be 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 to